by Parachute Studio. Hi guys! Welcome to Eco Arts Class. I'm Miss Rachel, but today I'm Miss Rainbow Zebra. all about stripes, spots, and rainbows. Stripes, spots, and rainbows. Oh my! We'll be creating a crazy cool chameleon, which is a lizard with big eyes, a long tongue. The coolest part, he can change colors. For this project, you're going to need to print out the circle template from our website. Make sure you have two of them. Grab a twisty tie or a rubber band. When I buy vegetables from the grocery store, I always save my twisty ties and my rubber bands. You can use them again and again for all kinds of different art projects. Here are some more supplies you'll need to grab. You'll need some glue. You'll need a black marker. You'll need scissors. And you'll need crayons, at least one for every color of the rainbow. Grab some cardboard. Go ahead and pause this video now if you need to go grab your supplies. Got your supplies? Great. Let's go check out the stripes on this tiger. Stripes are repeating lines of various colors, like this tiger's black stripes. Spots are small marks that are a different color from the area around it, like this cheetah's. A rainbow is the display of light in different colors. We'll use all the colors in our artwork. Do you know the colors of the rainbow? If you do, say them with me. Red. Orange. Yellow, green, blue, purple. Great! Round of applause, round of applause. Now, let's test our stripes and spots. Look closely at the animals coming up on the screen to see whether they have stripes or spots. Hey. Check out the stripes on this leopard. Those aren't stripes. Those are spots. Oh, what? Those are spots? Oh, okay, well, whoa. Uh, check out the spots on these lemur tails. Those aren't spots. Those are stripes. Oh no, I did it again! You're right, those are stripes. By the way, did you know that some leopards and lemurs are endangered species? Endangered means there's not a lot of them left in the wild, so it's up to us to protect them and their habitats. Check out these endangered species paintings by Alexis Kandra. Her artwork shows everybody how cool these animals are. Wow, these paintings are awesome! Making art is a great way to start a conversation about protecting endangered species. The chameleon lizard is also an endangered animal. Oh, that reminds me! We gotta get to our art project! You got your supplies, right? Okay, let's get started. Use the circle template from our website to get started. Make sure you have two of them and put one off to the side for later. If you can't print out the template, just trace a big circle on paper using a plate. You'll need to put a dot right in the middle. For younger kids, 
you may want to start with the pre-drawn chameleon page. If you do this, you'll just need to color your page. If you're in kindergarten or first grade, follow along with me to draw your chameleon. Using a pencil or black marker, draw your chameleon's head. You'll need to draw a little half circle on the top of his head for his eyes. Chameleons have big eyes that move around in all directions, so they can see in front of them and behind them. Next, you're going to draw a big half circle for the body. Continue this line down to start the tail. The chameleon's tail is in the shape of a spiral. Next, add the legs. Chameleons have webbed fingers that are perfect for grabbing onto branches. Follow along with me to add the front and the back legs. Then draw some lines to finish off the body. Whoops! Can't forget the eyeball! Draw a big circle with a little black circle inside of it. Then draw a little line for his nose. Chameleons walk along branches, so let's draw a branch underneath him. Make sure to add lines behind the chameleon. You can even add some leaves to your branch. Next, you will outline the spot where you will make your cutout on his body. We will use these lines so we know where to cut out our chameleon. Here's an example of the chameleon when it's all finished. See how the cutout shape lets us see all of these cool patterns and colors? To make the cutout, draw two lines with a curved line on top and a straight line on bottom. Awesome! Now we're ready to add some color. Color in your branch and your leaves. Oh, I broke my crayon. Ugh. Oh well, I'll just keep coloring. And then you can use whatever color you want for your chameleon. You can even add some stripes. I'm just going to go with plain yellow because in our next step, we're going to add all kinds of rainbow colors, spots, and stripes for our chameleon. Once your chameleon and your branch are all colored in, you will need your scissors to cut out the spot in the middle that we left empty. Now, you will need a parent or an adult to help you with this part because it's kind of tricky. You'll pinch the middle of your chameleon's body and then take your scissors and make a little snip right there in the middle. Then, you put your scissors into the little slip and you cut just around the edge of your outline. This will leave a big hole in your chameleon's body, which is just what we need for our project. Now you'll want to cut around the outer big circle. Great! Now remember the other circle that we had? You'll need to grab that for the next step. Since you have your scissors handy, cut out this circle too. Now that circle number two is all cut out, you will draw two lines in any color that go from the middle of the circle to the top and back down through the bottom. There's one line. Now I'll take another crayon and make line number two. It really doesn't matter which colors you use for this part, but make sure you have two big lines that go through the middle dot. Great! Now your circle is split into four parts. One, two, three, four! Awesome! Now let's get coloring. I'm going to start by making a line from the middle circle down to the bottom and then color in this space. Now I'll do it with all kinds of different colors. Look! I'm making stripes! These stripes are cool! 
Now let's add spots to the next section. I'm adding little round dots all over this. You can use any colors that you want. Then color in the background. Alright! Now, since I'm a rainbow zebra, how about we make rainbow zebra stripes for the next part? Follow along with me to make your black stripes. You'll want to use your black marker for this one. After our stripes are done, we'll color in the background with rainbow stripes. Stripes on stripes. Wow, that's beautiful. Now let's finish it off with some spots, like a cheetah. To make these spots, you kind of do an outline and then color it in with black. Go ahead and follow along with me if you want to do your cheetah spots in this style. By now, you should have used every color in the rainbow. If you haven't, use some more colors to color in your background. Either way, you want it to look super colorful for your chameleon. Once your circle is full of colors, stripes, and spots, then we can move on to the next step. Take your piece of cardboard and your circle and trace along your circle with your black marker. This piece of cardboard will help make your art project sturdy. Then, get an adult to help you cut out this circle. If you can't find any cardboard or you need to skip this step, that's okay. Your chameleon just will be a little bit flimsy. Once your cardboard circle is cut out, just glue your colorful circle onto it. Great! Now you'll need something to poke a hole into the center. I used a bobby pin. You'll probably want to grab an adult to help you with this part because we'll need to poke a hole all the way through. Once you got that, take your twisty tie and bend it in half. Press that twisty tie all the way through the hole. If you're using a rubber band, poke it through the hole and tie a knot on both ends. Once you've got that, twist and flatten your twisty tie so that it's flat on both sides and you can hold it from the back. Now watch as all the colors start changing on your chameleon. How cool! Whoa, you guys! Check it out! A rainbow zebra chameleon. Cool. Oh, wait. He's changing. What is he changing? A spotted chameleon. Cool. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <gasps> More spots. This is so fun. I want to see what you guys came up with. Email us at heyparachute at gmail.com so we can see your funky, crazy, cool chameleons. Chameleons are awesome, right? 
Now we know a lot more about endangered species and how we can protect the animals and habitats that are so awesome, like our friend the chameleon here. Wait, wait just a second. The chameleon is saying something. What's that chameleon? Hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, guys, the chameleon says that you should like this video with a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can see more cool art videos. Yeah. Oh, one, one more thing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, cool. If you like this art video and you want to do live art classes with me, go to our website, parachutearts.com and find our virtual art classes. We can make some art together. This has been so much fun. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for making eco art with me. Bye.